First to six are on your side team confirming a major breaking development out of JEA tonight. Shelby Danerson is standing by in our newsroom and Shelby you began working on the story about JEA digging into what's going on more than two years ago. So tell us about this big breaking news this evening. Well, Jeannie, we just learned according to two different sources with the city that the Office of General Counsel has wrapped up their investigation into former JEA CEO Aaron Zahn and we're told that they now will recommend to the JEA board tomorrow morning that Zahn be fired with cause, which means no payout. Now, council member Rory Diamond tells us tonight, quote, I strongly believe the JEA board has all the cause in the world to terminate Aaron Zahn and he shouldn't get another penny of taxpayer money. I think the entire community should be or would be shocked and outraged if the board did anything less than terminate for cause. Additionally, tonight we are gaining new insight into the thousands of dollars, hundreds of hours JEA spent investigating media strategies, even tracking reporters hey, and training down. their staff on how to properly answer in interviews with us. JEA hired the cavalry consulting firm at 20 grand a month to help them construct their quote myths and facts emails to media. We also know the local Dalton PR agency was hired at 25 grand a month and did everything from writing up editorials for the Times Union under the names of board members at JEA to monitoring social media accounts of news stations, newspapers, and even their own JEA employees. Dalton also advised JEA to take down at least one article that painted their current situation as a public utility in a positive light as they were pursuing privatization. Starting back in May, JEA's board chair and JEA execs were assigned to hours of media training and on-camera training. JEA also targeted information to certain reporters in the community, including a couple at First Coast News. We've also learned that just days before the ITN bidding process went public to sell the utility, Zahn met with Mayor Lenny Curry to ask the mayor about his, quote, funding priorities. Now back to Aaron Zahn. The mayor's office is not confirming, confirming, sorry, or commenting uh, at all on what is happening with Aaron Zahn. We also know that city council member Matt Carlucci has recommended that Zahn pay back much of the money he's made while on administrative leave back to the city. And we're going to find out for sure tomorrow morning how that all unfolds. That board meeting with JEA is at 9 a.m. Of course, we will be there to bring you the very latest. And once we do find out what happens, We'll make sure to alert you on the First Coast News app. In the newsroom, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side.